Will, Will, what the hell have you done? And I'm not just gonna lay the blame on Will Smith. He's just the actor, he probably had some say, but man, Guy Ritchie, what was your vision for this? I think you're actually a decent director. You have a lot of flair. Particularly, you like the flares in your films, but why? Why? Why have you done this to Aladdin? This had the possibility and opportunity to be one of the best Disney Live remakes. Instead, it looks, as someone I know called it, like a pikey banto. It looks cheap. Not only does it look cheap, it looks worse than cheap. It looks like a bad television show cheap. It, I mean, does it look like Once Upon a Time? I stopped watching that last season, but I mean, the Aladdin parts in that were bad. This doesn't look much better than that. And this has a much bigger budget. So we're just gonna go through the pictures right now. Entertainment Weekly put out a set of uh, new images for the film and honestly, they don't look very good. There's this first one called A Friend Like Genie. It's Will Smith with a weird goatee and an odd headpiece talking to a not Aladdin looking Aladdin. Not really a great image, but from this angle, you might be able to get away with certain things. But it's not a good image. The designs don't look that great but it could have just been a bad image. Then you go to the second one and you see Aladdin and Jasmine doesn't look the best as an image. Um, maybe the lighting's a bit off, I don't know. But also there's this oriental guy just on the left hand side there. I don't know what he's doing there. I mean, you couldn't have just got a South Asian or a Middle Eastern guy to be there. I mean, I understand it is sort of like a market. So maybe there are people from all over the world there, but this is the Middle East, you know. It's a pretty homogenous place. There probably aren't people from all over the world there. Uh, then you've got the next one, which is Street Rat with the Heart of Gold. Looks a bit pantomime-y. Uh, doesn't look the best. He's probably protecting them from the evil prince, who they've probably made the evil prince Billy Magnuson's character. Um, the white guy, obviously. You need, you need the white guy. He's the oppressor. He's evil. Um, so you got that there as well with uh, with Aladdin protecting the kids. I guess he's going to give them some bread. Jasmine's new best friend. Uh, this image is okay. I mean, Jasmine looks ridiculously bad. The friend looks all right, to be honest. I mean, it's still not a good design for, a, for an outfit. The, the designs are just awful. She looks like a fucking peacock. I mean... I understand that you can't just pull everything from the page perfectly. Animation to real life doesn't always work out properly, but the character designs could have been a lot better than this. Like, it looks, it looks shoddy. It looks awful. Then the next picture is one jump head. This looks okay. This looks fun. It looks interesting. Honestly, it looks like it's a theatre production as opposed to an actual film. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. At least there's songs in this. They're making the live action Mulan and there aren't even songs in that. So at least they're doing a... Uh, you know, giving it that that courtesy. Princess of the People, probably the best looking shot out of all the ones I've seen. Um, one, because it's actually pretty plain. There's only one character in it. Um, the outfit is decent. There's a bit of texture to the work in the background. It looks like there's been some effort in this particular set. So I suppose this one looks good, all right? I'll give you a thumbs up. This one looks okay. The Villainous Grand Vizier. Now, Jafar looks so bad. I, I thought, I thought they might be able to do something with him, but I thought he would be the most difficult one to do in a realistic way. They have not done that at all. He looks like some weird, weird pantomime villain. Like I said, Pikey Panto. This looks like something that me in like year three as a nine-year-old would have put together. This looks so not good. Oh my God. You're not representing anyone in a positive light here. Like, just be aware of that. You know, it's 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 really really shitty. Monkey business. I mean, I mean, a boot. You know, it's a it's a nice shot. The monkey looks a bit cute, a bit weird. He has a bit of a goatee going on. It looks like. Okay, chill. I'm not gonna add a monkey. I don't want Peter on me on my back needlessly. So it's a good job with the monkey there. And then we get the actual final image, the cover shot, and my god, my god just it's stunning it is stunning how they decided to let will smith look like this and i've read that this is just his human form he is gonna indeed have a blue form his genie form this is just his false human form but that weird goatee with a it's like a double goatee he has like a double goatee and then he has like a goatee on his head as well i don't know what that's called i have no idea but he looks so shit naomi she's the best looking thing on this poster you know, 
and her outfit is not that good. And then you come to Aladdin, Mina Masood, who, when I saw him, I was like, he has a look. I think he'll actually do a good job. Then I saw that first teaser and was like, they've really fucked him over because he looks like a sleazeball. He looks awful in that first teaser and he looks even worse no, actually, he looks better here, but he still looks bad. He doesn't look like Aladdin. Like, most people will be like, I'd say probably one in five people say Aladdin is their favourite Disney film. And they'll say Aladdin is their Disney crush. N no one is saying this guy is their Disney crush from the look they've given him. He's an attractive looking guy. He's not an ugly dude. And they've made him look really, really slimy. He's not supposed to be that. He's not. I'm all tuckered out. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I, I don't know what to say more to this. I know we haven't seen a trailer. I'm not going to write this off completely. But for now, I'm just going to say I do not want to see this film. Maybe the first trailer will convince us. Otherwise, it's coming out in like five months, I think, in May time. They've got a lot to do to convince people to go and see this. Because it's not looking like it's got any positive PR on Twitter. People are just ripping it apart. All, all the images are being ripped apart. Um, especially the main one with the three uh, three of them. That's what I think. Just uh, just, just somehow make it better. There might be some extensive reshoots after all of this. They might just change all the costumes. They might reshoot the film entirely. I don't know. This could be a very, very expensive mistake for Disney. And it doesn't help what they're trying to push in the idea of anyone can do anything. Because, well, we sort of f***ed up here. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then, then Jafar himself, I don't know, I might use the new image of Jafar, you know? It might be more scary. Jafar himself is going to come after you. He will turn you into a bongo and play that bongo all night long. And you don't want that. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been great. And I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.